All right, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, there aren't really that many pro games that I wanna watch right now. So instead, we're gonna to go to the opposite sort of direction of Dota and we'll watch a, a public game. So this is gonna be an all pick game. I came across this when I was watching a friend of mine. I won't say which of these 10 players is actually my friend, just to preserve his or her anonymity, just because of reasons that you'll see later. But I thought this might be a sort of a fun thing to do just once in a while. Flip, flip the sort of script on its ear and really look at you know lineups and situations that you might actually see when you play Dota. Because in the pro games, people rarely make mistakes and you're just sort of watching to see the good strategic decisions that they made. But in pub games, uh, mistakes are almost all anybody does make. So so we'll take a look at this game. And I'm joined by my friend Vanek. Vanek, why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Hello. Uh, pretty bad at Dota, but I know a lot of people worse at me. Worse at Dota than me, so... <laughs> like everyone you play with? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but yes. I, I keep meeting these people who are just so much worse. Like, all yeah. nine other people in every one of my games. I can explain nearly every mistake these guys make. It'll be <laughs> it'll be great. That is good. That's exactly <laughs> what we want. So, I, I know other casters have done this before. I know Purge does casting pubs, so I'm not, I'm not trying to steal their thunder, but there are a lot of pub games out there, way more than there are pro games, so I think there's plenty of room to watch entertaining uh, bad games. So that's what we're going to watch. Um, and so uh, Vanek and I are paused at the same point in this replay, so uh, you ready, Vanek? Yes. All right, three, two, one, let's go. All right, so basically, okay, so we got picks right off the bat. Is this a random? This is a random, so we got a random life stealer. So now you've got the life stealer on your team, and you can pick any hero. So you might think, okay, maybe he's gonna jungle, maybe he's gonna side lane carry. So I might want to pick up like a good support, something with a slow maybe. But the other team randoms a disruptor, so now there you've got their good pick. Uh, support. Good pick. Yeah, solid pick, <laughs> solid random, not bad. Oh, but he's like, nope, no disruptor. He no, immediately gotta, gotta get rid back. of it. Randoming life stealer is actually pretty good because you can get the jump. While jungling, you can get an additional That's item. That's true. He's, he uh, has a, kind of a slow start jungling, but if you can buy additional items, it'll... So, you, so the guy who randoms If you can get the Quilling Blade disruptor. on top of everything else, then it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, if you can get a Quilling Blade to get the additional damage, that's definitely better. Yeah, then it, it um, speeds up jungle a lot. Yeah. No, that's true. So random lifesteal are good. We're probably going to see him in the jungle. Then we got a locked drow, which has no synergy whatsoever with lifestealer, but that's fine. Well, I got the, got the slow. So now we have a Visage who random synergizes visage. Yeah. with... Uh, Drow really well. Drow, yes. Because Drow's got the. So they've got, the they've got three carries cool. right now, which is a yep. bold choice. Yep. Got the locked um, again. The locked Ricky after, after you already have two carries on your team. So that this is the sort of great thing is that uh, two carries. I'm gonna be Ricky. Damn it, I'm gonna be a carry. Not even a ranged carry, which would synergize well with Drow's mm -hmm, precision aura. Mm -hmm. Definitely just this a is, melee. This carry. is a welcome to Dota team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. On the other side, we've got so the Shadow Fiend who might go. Oh, and Luna, Luna just to fill it out that fourth All carry. Right. Always good to have. So four a four carry, but team. to be fair, you've got Drow. So right. So Drow, Visage, and Luna will all synergize with terms of ranged DPS from that aura. But the Ricky and the Life Stealer feel kind of out of place, and it's going to be really tough to figure out a good laning situation for this. Meanwhile, we got Shadow Evil on Shadow Fiend, which is really good. I always like to see people role-playing in Dota, even though it's not a strictly a role-playing game. Let me mm -hmm. take a look at Shadow Evil real quick. Is he? Does he always play Shadow Fiend? His most successful hero is Shadow <laughs> Fiend, actually. Well, he's he's pretty bold. You know, he, he's getting set up for the uh, the rune already, which right. in a pro game would get him killed immediately. That's true. This would get you um, killed. But in pub games, this is not. not yeah, this is, this is fine in a pub game. So we do have a little... I, I really like the Dyer's good. lineup. I, yeah, yeah, this is a good yeah. lineup. So we got two carries. We got the Shadow... Shadow Fiend mid, which mid in a pub on Shadow Fiend is a little safer than it is at pro level just because you get ganked less. Um, right. We got the Dragon Knight to provide this sort of carrying approach. I don't know why he's going bottom. Uh, they, they're trialing bottom with three carries. Who is? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yes. Also, check out this. You will not receive battle points because you're in the low priority punishment. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was bugging out or something. Seven of okay. the characters. Yeah, I think oh, no, just he's, seven he's people jungle. He was just hanging priority. out bottom, I guess, yeah. for... Yeah. So Fun? we got Ricky support support Ricky Maru I think with Luna check out Luna building Moonglaive first. Ricky so, bought no items is a bold choice. That is whoa six thirty. Do you think he's saving up for ring, fast ring of health? <laughs> I think he's saving up for fast ring of health. I think I think that's definitely what he's doing. All right, so we got. Ricky I don't know with the why you would save up for fast okay. ring of health, as Ricky. But okay. Uh, yeah, there's no reason unless you want Vanguard or something. You got Visage top getting a deny, getting a last hit. In fact, so if solo Visage well. against Tide Bane, which is tough for Visage, but I think he might be okay. He can get escape from things. If he gets gushed, he can Grave Chill to still escape. Um, so meanwhile, Luna is hiding in the jungle, 
with just Moonglaive, and this is the this is Maybe the it's worst a Luna thing to get They're first. They're trying to beat these kids oh, with, onto with the no item Ricky solo. <laughs> beat them with the no item Ricky. <laughs> I just love this Moonglaive first because you never want to do this. It pushes the lane at level one. Like it's not actually good. The harassment damage isn't as good as you would get if you just shot them with like Lunar it's Blessing. It's far better to get Lunar Blessing yeah. or losing. Well, you should be getting the beam. So Lifestealer went uh, Gloves of Haste but. first, so no defense, no, like, stout shield. And as a result, holy crap, is Lifestealer going to well, die? He's about he's to die. die. He's going to die. He's going to die. Yes! And we got the first kill on the board. Uh, keep Almost in mind, first blood. Yeah, first blood is not awarded when you die to a neutral, so that's mm -hmm. that's good. They didn't lose first blood. We got this Drow versus Shadow Fiend mid. Drow already turning her precision Okay, so, so Lifestealer, on. using his farm that he has now generated, mm -hmm. buys himself Gauntlets of Strength. Good, so if good. you're if you're ever actually going to... Jungle life stealer, you need at least one stout shield, yeah, probably stout shield two. Is pretty good, pretty good. Um, Lots he's of not good a very good jungle all around. Right. I think I like this bold decision to push every lane by keeping the precision aura on the drow ranger on its activated state and getting early mood glaive for Luna. I like it. It's it's ballsy. They maybe they just want to push and end this game early. Maybe that's their strategy with yeah. the four carries. The four the carry four push. carry push strat is <laughs> very strong. So this dragon knight. Eh. His, his his build isn't that bad. Um, the the skills are are good. You want one he's, rank he's in dragon rocked. tail. I mean, thank goodness he got six tangos. Yeah, that's the problem. Because... you don't. There's no point in getting like something like six tangos when you don't get any stat items because the stat items will give you the, like more regen and like more ability to not take so much damage. Well, six tangos is okay, but you don't get a quelling blade. Quelling blade clarity. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. know about that. Yeah, it's. Let's take a look at this Visage. Visage is still doing okay. He's actually uh, gotten this Tidehunter down pretty low. Wow, Tidehunter. If he he could probably Grave Chill and follow this up. Is he going to do it? Tidehunter gushes. Uh, oh, he shouldn't chase. That's a bad chase. Bad timing. He might die. I think Visage is going to give up the actual first blood. Oh, oh 16 nope. HP. He, he, he scoots out of there. Uh, Bane doing the smart thing, you see. He's making the Soul Ring. He'll actually finish the Soul Ring right now. Soul Ring Bane is amazing. He's very, very mana intensive. Here comes first blood mid. It's uh, Shadow Fiend uh -oh. getting... Oh no, Shadow Auto attack down oh, by he got Drow Ranger. Shadow Fiend actually, Shadow Fiend um, actually disconnected. Oh, he disconnected. Yeah. He disconnected. Yeah. I was wondering why he he just literally stood there for right. you know about a minute getting auto attacked down by Drow. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's too bad. Well, this is I guess this is the perils of uh, the low prio Q. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. You you get you get some interesting first bloods. Right. Right. Dragon Knight has a pretty oh, cool helm on. That's, that's an improvement to the character. Oh, he's got haste. Oh. Runs right up to Drow. Starts, you know, with <laughs> with no doing? items. Yeah, so the problem is, if you if you either. have Pulling Blade first with no stat items, you're right. not actually strong against Your heroes. Your damage against players is horrible. He's 54. Right. on and because Yeah, because he has no stats. He went boots. So he, he's got haste. But right. that's not going to do anything for him because Drow does way more damage yeah, and can snare him and kite him in and dragon blood well. instead of any ranks in breathe fire. So yeah, Dragon Knight is completely incapable of dealing any damage to any heroes right now. So Ricky, Ricky did go Ring of Health first um, nice. because and then he built I don't know why. And that's he's he's got a circlet coming. So um, Ring of Health bracer, Ricky. Okay, okay, works mm -hmm. for me. Tank, tank Ricky. You know, mm -hmm. tank Ricky. That's what it looks like. He's a. Uh, so let's take a look at the farm situation. Actually, Shadow Fiend is still ahead on farm despite having died, so that's good. It's definitely good. I mean, he's doing all right, I think, for himself. Uh, Drow's going to be trouble if they don't get any kills on her. She's invisible. She's going to jump on this Bane. Not nearly in any way enough to actually kill him. I think they would have needed better coordination with the Grave Chill from Visage to actually get mm -hmm. that kill. Or Visage, if you prefer. Visage, thank you. <laughs> visage, if you nasty. Oh, damage on this Tidehunter. I think that'll be with the Soul Assumption. Oh, Not brutes. Enough. Brutes. I like how Drow and Visage communicated so poorly. Like, they both went in completely separately and didn't help each other at all at any right. point. So, so Shadow Drow... Get his farm in the middle. For some reason... So, Drow is actually taking uh, taking the 4 carry push strat seriously and has Precision Aura enabled. Oh, uh, Yeah, she said she had it right from the beginning, which was fascinating to me. But Dragon Knight is going to escape. Dragon Knight um, will... Oh, they could have just kept chasing. One more melee and one more Lucent Beam would have done it. Mm -hmm. But let's not actually get kills. That's that's so yeah. passe. It's... Luna, however, taking a pretty much correct approach. I think he's probably going to make the poor man's next. Okay, oh, uh, Ricky. So we, we, we've got uh -oh. Ricky face on, like, just head on. All right. <laughs> and there's that. This is what we were talking about. That Dragon Knight damage. He does no damage. He's completely useless. No damage. But useless. to be fair, Ricky does very little damage too, and they're going head on. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Ring of Health really Ricky. turned the tide in that fight. There, believe it or not. 
<laughs> was he regening enough health to not die? Well, he would have been okay either way. Do you think way, Luna's but... gonna go Tranquil Boots, the flavor of the month build, or do you think he's gonna gonna boss Who? up and Luna? Um, he probably will if he got the Akala first. I don't know. The Shadow Fiend though, ten ten last hits ahead of everybody. He's getting it getting it done, getting it did, and he's got a pretty decent build with the uh... Life Stealer is nope, about to die again. bottle is weird, but is he really? Uh, oh my God, the creeps almost took him down again. The, he's, don't don't make gauntlets of strength on Life Stealer. Like, why did you do that? You do not need gauntlets of strength. Like, no, honestly, really Life Stealer, he's one of the heroes that if you follow Maybe the recommended items, the, you're you're not going to be doing too poorly. Although if you're if you are, uh, uh, Drow's in trouble. We got this, the the yep. fucking Sonic Boom Dragon Knight. So no so damage, but the Shadow Fiend damage on following up his stun was. Shadow Fiend actually his hit his uh, his raises, which is yeah. kind of surprising at this level, to be honest. Dude, he's Shadow Evil. <laughs> you, you know he practices. Shadow Evil on Shadow Fiend. Uh -huh. Highly dangerous. Yeah. The sh yeah, dude. You gotta ban it out, but unfortunately it's all picks, so you just have to suffer the wrath of the Shadow Shadow Evil Shadow Fiend. Yeah. He's doing pretty well. I don't know why he doesn't have Bottle, but Bottle, bottle on Shadow well, Fiend is really, he's, really good. Well, he's just saving up money for buybacks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Buyback costs 302 currently for him. Oh, shoot. Tank Ricky is so, just tearing it up. I like how Tank Ricky hasn't taken a single smoke cloud smoke screen rank. So usually you well, do no, want he's at on, least one he's rank on of man mode. Screen. He's got ring of health, so you don't need. Right. I mean, it does slow. The, it does slow though. So if you blink in and you want to actually kill somebody, it's good to slow them so that you can you can chase them down. But no, God forbid we do that. Uh, yeah, Luna is going the like pro flavor of the month build. So he clearly knows. He clearly knows what he's doing. Look at this uh, poor man's shield. He's going to make tranquil boots probably. I don't know if he's going to do drums, but it's entirely possible. So yeah, these are people. They, this is this is not just like. So we've got a, a three wraith band drow, which is not nice. not terrible to be yeah, honest. That's fine. It takes her over that early hump. I think that's okay, probably the three raised bounds. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he's just sort of trying to harass ineffectually on this Shadow Fiend. Life Stealer... Well, that's just gonna be okay. I was kind of hoping he would die to this this small camp. But... You were hoping he would die. <laughs> that's the spirit. Well... No, 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 I agree. I actually agree. I, I I'm, I'm more surprised that he's level 5. Dragon Knight with no stats. He still does only 60 damage. Like, his his Dragon Tail does an additional 50, but he just has no damage. The only way he's gonna get any kills is if he... You know, haste runes over to mm -hmm. Drow again. So doing a little bit of roaming on this Bane. Just trying to get some oh. kills. Visage actually has his ult. Uh oh. Ricky oh, was radiant not careful. courier is down. See, this, so this if is he, why if you he had the, smoke cloud. The smoke. Yeah, like Lich was dead there, but nope, no smoke cloud. Absolutely not. I don't get that trash. The reduced cooldown and blink strike is not going to help you. I like this too. Do you like this fact that Luna and Ricky are laning together? They both got Akala and they have it on. Um, Visage managers. Well, first of all, Akala is bin. probably not how you say it. Akila. <laughs> Ring of but, Akila. But yes, they both got it. It's actually weird. I don't think uh, it's a recommended item for Ricky. No, I don't think it is. So the, the question is, why is this uh -oh, guy Visage building? is going to get this Tidehunter, I think. If he gets a Grave Chill off or a Soul... Oh, he won't. I don't think... No. Tidehunter's going to escape. That's really unfortunate. Unfortunately, he didn't micro his... Uh, familiars, yeah. Quite familiars. as well as he could have. It's tough, though. Uh-oh. Whoa, I missed another kill. Huge Shadow Evil versus Can Politicker 77 battle in the mid. So yeah. this fight is just going back and forth. Drow is 2-1 and one now. And I think Shadowfin is, what, 1-2? and two? Yeah, so even though Shadowfin has the farm advantage, he's, he's definitely dying more than he'd like. More than he'd like. His net worth is pretty well in this one versus two lane. Honestly, he has no deaths. He killed Bane, so he's he's well on his way to mechanism. So that's really. It's kind of weird that that he didn't go higher in in his passive. Uh no, this is actually pretty typical. Soul assumption is so good. I guess in the solo lane, if you if you're soloing one v two, I think that you would want a little bit a little bit more beef. A little bit oh, less true. damage output because that's it's not true. like you're really going to be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he hasn't happened to die. Getting kills, so but it's out because he's got a precision aura for yeah. his familiars. Um, yeah, it's huge damage. Yeah. Huge Which is a damage. Interesting synergy. It's a great synergy. This is that YouTube of the Ride of the Valkyries. Look at this life sealer just yeah. bossing it up, except he has no boots, so he has no way of actually catching them. And now he's stunned, and now he will die. Oh, oh Dragonite! He, he, he popped into, into a into a creep. If he he's did. smart, he will he will get out of it and heal the most. But yeah. he's not going it, to. He's it, too it, scared. When you come out, it heals you for its current health. So if you do it when it's yes. at low health, it doesn't do shit for you. Uh, yeah. Will this Dragonite manage to take him down? No, I think Dragonite's going to go down because he's wow. been shooting creeps this entire time. 
That entire so time, Dragonite was if shooting. If Dragonite first. had actual items, he would right. have been able to kill Life Stealer. Well, he would also have needed to shoot Life Stealer instead of Creeps. So two That's problems true. there. So eight and two. Well, because we also missed another Tidehunter kill up top, so this soul assumption is working we out did. great and combined with this man mode tank Ricky. So Hand of Midas on well. Life Stealer without shield. Hand of Midas, no shield. Oh, he's, you know, he's going for the late game. He's going for that build. He's making his boots of speed. He'll probably turn that into treads right now. So Shadow Fiend is going no ult. No ult. Well, you don't need to take ult at six. You really want... Oh, weird that he took Presence of the Dark Lord. Usually you take yeah. the ult at nine after you max yeah. the other two things. Oh, and Shadow Evil is going down. Now, actually, again, so because he doesn't have if his he ult, had ult, it doesn't yeah. fire <laughs> he when he, he dies. Killed him. And if, if he had gotten his ult, it would have triggered when he died and yep. killed Drow Ranger. Yep, it certainly um, would have. And not, not to mention, he could have just triggered it the normal way, too. Like, sure. But, yeah, so <laughs> that bites him in the ass a little bit. I like how Dragonite, you know, you know, I don't like breathe fire. What's the point of being a dragon and breathing so Ricky, fire? That's Ricky so is fought a morbid mask. It's morbid currently in mask. his stash. So he's just all over the place with this build. This ring of health, morbid mask. Is he gonna make a, a Vlad's maybe? It has synergy with Life Stealer. That's it. But I don't know. Maybe he'll make a mask of madness. Maybe it'll be a mask of madness. Ricky Murray. Got a DD Lich coming bot. Um. Oh. oh. Think that. Think Fonzetta on the Luna's in trouble. Uh, Fonzetta not. is actually going ahead to the pub Luna, the Helm of the Dom Luna, when you have lifesteal. I, I, can, I bet you if he was to ult, he would kill... He Actually, he clicked it. He clicked it, but he got stunned. Yeah, okay, yeah, well he, he died. He clicks it again, but it's not enough. He gets wrecked. Meanwhile, Visage kills up top. So, wow, this Visage is, let's say, 3-0. and He's done with his mechanism? 3-0. Uh, yep, mech's yeah, done. Mech's done. Wow. Not bad. Meanwhile, Shadow Evil and Ricky are gonna pass like two ships in the night. Never mind, Ricky's on top of them. Shadow Fiend. The other Ricky thing is, has Shadow no Fiend boots, ult as a uh, slow. So he's not able to actually. Oh my catch god, up. you're right. He has no. He has no boots. Shadow Fiend has phase boots, which is unorthodox, but sure. Life Stealer and Dragon Knight miss each other completely. Uh oh, Life Stealer's running right into him. Why did you do that, Life Stealer? Sharon, why did you do that? Uh oh, I think she. Oh no! He's Here turning this right around on this Dragonite. See, this is the thing, when you have no damage, in ult form, he has 73 freaking damage. Oh, but the stun and he, and he doesn't have enough. Breathe Fire. So, yeah. for people that haven't played Dragonite very much, you need to get Q. It is a yeah, great ability. Shadow um, gets picked off by Drow Ranger, and this Visage is just rampaging. Now, the yeah. one downside of Visage, or one of the downsides against this other team, is that Lich's ult can just bounce between you and the Familiars, but at level 1, you don't really worry about it. He almost dies to the uh, Seder toss there. But I think this Visage is mostly doing the, the right things. Um, Visage is about to die, because he is. He to is. Die. Whoa, yeah, I spoke way too... Good, good st Oh, no! <laughs> I take that back. I was like, oh, he's mostly playing properly, and then he immediately dies. He's gonna lose this creep, too. You could have stunned, dude. You can use your Visage creeps to... Their stone form causes them to fall and be invulnerable and heal to full, but instead he just loses the creep and his I own life for no reason. Oh, meanwhile, so now he loses this Ricky, creep. 2-0. He's taking down that Tidehunter. I think Bane really wants this uh, Luna, but that's not, probably not going to happen at this point. Luna has treads, he's got poor man's shield, Ring of Akala, and... Uh, he's actually building well. Helm of the Dawn, yeah. Well, sorry, his items, not his No, no, skills. no, I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, the early three ranks in uh, Cl Cleave is kind of silly, but everything else is fine. He does get taken down by the Bane, Lich, Shadow Fiend. I mean, Bane's just Middle so goes down to the, uh, the power of a Helm of the Dawn Ricky, yep. who is still not buying boots. Wait, Ricky has Helm of the Dawn? Yes. Yeah! So, Helm of the Dom, the main reason why you get this item is not really the lifesteal. The main reason is that you can mind control a creep, you can stack an ancient camp, and then you can clear it out, but it only works on heroes with AoE. I mean, it's only easy to do on heroes with AoE, and Ricky has no area of effect abilities. So it's very strange. Ricky is trying Ricky. to go beast mode on Dragonite. Dragonite uh -oh. stuns I mean, him, but then tries Dragon to last at a creep. Just the creeps. He's, but he he's gonna to get away to get because he this. has treads oh, right, and Ricky does not. Right, Ricky has no boots. So Ricky has 300 movement speed and Dragon yeah. has 345. Even if, if, even if he doesn't pop ultimate. In his ultimate he has right. 25 more movement speed. Right. So I this is this. why you buy... This is why boots are one of the most important items to buy yep. after, in the early during the end. early laning phase. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. You really want those boots. I like this. This So the Bane has a good build. He's, he is warding. He is uh, he has soul ring. He's got two null talismans to give him that little boost of mana. And he's probably gonna make boots next. But meanwhile, visitors just continue to pressure with these. When these um, familiars have this uh, precision aura, 
it's just so good because like even if you run out of stacks to deal damage with the precision aura you um still do quite a bit of damage just because the drow passive damage adds on to every attack and their attack speed is extremely fast so ricky is visible here because they put down a sentry ward very smartly uh oh so oh no ricky man, and now oh, he's ricky. dead even the uh, ring of health was not enough to save him there and they popped the ravage uh oh eclipse turning this right around them wow yeah so, so they managed to kill two off but shadow evil comes away with a double kill as well meanwhile mm -hmm. bane so is, the carries uh, the carries gone. make out and sorry the carries <laughs> get kills <laughs> I was gonna say make I out like not bandits. See that. But... I, I missed the carries making out, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I think Shadow so Fin's Drow... gonna go blink. Drow finished a chrysalis. Uh oh. Visage shit in the good. Shadow Fin, but he's not getting the stuns off on his familiars. He really needs those stuns to actually do this. He needs those stuns. Come on, buddy. Oh, nope. Well, what he needed was the snare. Nope. He needed that grave chill. No, he did grave chill. He well, gave it again. once, but he wasn't in range the second time, which is why he needed the familiar stuns. Oh, but Rust Power. Oh, poor Rust Power. Rust. He has the, the power. Ring of Health too. What is with people's obsession with Ring of Health in this game? He's gonna make, he might make Vanguard because so, we know he's a as, as a player, as a right? tip for other low information doters, mm -hmm. don't build Vanguard on Dragon Knight. <laughs> his yes. E, not generally. His good. his passive ability, Dragon Blood, is a Vanguard basically. Right. You do, right. You do not need to buy a Ring of Health and a shield. Yeah. And yeah. That's a good. That's a good tip because yeah. as as people can see, like he does no damage right now. What he needs to fix at this point is not his lack of survivability. It's the right. fact that he does no damage. Dragon Knight is an innately survivable hero. Yeah. That's true. It's true. Going for Roche. Nice early Roche. Lich ult on solo draw. Lich, that's single. Good. Yes. Did not work out so well for, not, not so for good. Lich. But meanwhile, Man Mode Ricky and the, the his crew are taking down. Wow, look at this visage. He's already up to Boots of Travel. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay, so so uh, Ricky has Boots of Speed now. Who's going to get this? Uh, all right, so Luna picks it up. That's smart. Luna's by far A good their, choice. their biggest yes. yeah, hero right now. Meanwhile, Bane only has three minutes left to connect, so it's interesting that nobody's even bothered pausing at all. This is the low priority queue, so the assumption is that people are not <laughs> coming back. It. Right, right, right. <laughs> what happens in the low priority queue stays in the low priority queue. So, Shadow Fiend went Yasha. I guess he wants the speed? He's really like a high speed Shadow Fiend, because he's got a phase boots and Yasha. A speed demon, you might say. Yeah, that's nice, good. I like that. Uh. Um, yes, yeah, so he's gone pure movement speed Shadow Fiend, which is also interesting and somewhat exotic, but no, I don't know if it's that bad. It's not that bad. So Drow just has Frost Arrows on auto, which... The one thing is, on Shadow Fiend, you really want BKB, but then again, against this team, how many... I guess he's just Grave Chill and Soul Assumption and maybe Eclipse, but other than that, it's all, like, physical damage, so you don't really care. Oh, wow, pressure on the Tier 3, but this great... That was a good Tidehunter Ravage, and Bane is back in the game. Meanwhile, Tidehunter goes down, Lich will probably go down. Uh, huge Soul Assumption, but not quite enough to kill him. Oh, and this this undying, this uh, Visage is in trouble now. He's stunned. So Breathe Fire... That would, huge would... Dragon Fire, Dragon Damage. Uh oh, and we got an Eclipse deep in enemy territory. Not enough to actually kill anybody. He does, no, no, I was it wrong. Killed, he kills Shadow killed, Fiend. Wow, and he's got the Aegis. And when the Visage familiars are chasing. They might get Rust Power. Rust Power, no! Oh, Rust Power. Rust Power down on the floor again. One and six, and he is building Vanguard and Lol. LOL, says Rust Power. He is power. building Vanguard and laughing out loud. So, 2010, and we've got a lot of pressure on the Tier 3 Towers. I think this might end pretty soon, actually. This, because... this game is well above... The Wraithland Threshold. This game is above the Wraithland Threshold. We got 30 kills in 20 minutes, and the Threshold is uh, one kill per minute. So This is this is a 1.5W 1.5W, yeah, that's exactly right. So I don't know. It feels like Radiant are really just constricting around Dire here, and they are gonna they might push in to win it. Their one problem is this Ricky they're is still kind of They're up six towers, which is, which is... Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are up six towers. So the problem is, if you look at, if you look at the net worth, the entire Radiant team has higher net worth... That's true. Their lowest net worth is Ricky, at B sure. because he's got this weird ass ring of health, ring of Akala. He just he just wants rings. <laughs> he he likes Ricky, so he's putting uh, several rings on it. He likes bling. Right. Yes. Um, since he likes it, he wants to put a ring on it. And since he so really likes it, he puts this, two. The rings name on. of the game in a uh, if if you're playing a game against like a three or four carry team, mm. you need to try to push. Yeah. And you can't Instead, afford to feed kills to they've been pushed them. by six towers. Yeah. So the four carry so, team with the push strat, I was making fun of Drow for having that precision aura on, and he's forgot to, he actually has, has it off now when you do want it. So right. early on when you don't want it, he had it on, and now when you do want it, it's off, which is awesome. 
Ricky just jumping in, no smoke cloud, of course. Why would we want to slow that? Oh my goodness, look at the damage Rust Power is taking from that Drow. Uh oh. Yeah. Rust oh, Ricky. Drow has a uh, Daedalus, so. Ooh, Daedalus first, huh? Doesn't actually want the Agi to help his team, just wants to. Oh, that is the trollest. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> He almost prevented Shadow Evil from killing that Drow just by virtue right. of uh, nightmaring it. Lich is in a bit of trouble. No, this life stealer is nowhere near being able to contribute. Shadow Evil getting big. Three kills there. He's up to twenty. He's up to two thousand gold. Uh, Visage manages to get a kill in the back pretty well. Uh, misses yep. the stuns on the familiars, unfortunately. And Radiance Courier is killed as well. I don't even know where that happened. Where the hell did that happen? Uh, well, goodbye, Radiance Courier. We knew. We knew the not well. And it looks like Visage is making pipe. Yeah, he's making either hood or, or full pipe, which is also smart, I think. It's not good a bad against Shadow idea. Feed, good against Bane, good against Lich. Actually, they have a lot of magic Lich. damage on their team in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. definitely. This is definitely physical well, damage. Primarily physical damage on Radiant. Primarily if Dragonite on... had gotten his his uh, fire, fire. skew higher. He has it, it would... now, dude. Level one. Mm -hmm. So the interesting thing is, do you think Dragonite will... Uh, do you think he'll get... Yeah, he'll take second rank of Elder Dragon form at 11. Sometimes you want to keep it just so you can push. Oh, great, great Ravage. Shadow Evil, another kill. They're getting the kills onto Shadow Evil. I think if they come back, which is still going to be unlikely, it's going to be because <laughs> Shadow Evil manages to pick up. Because I'm, I'm giving up on this Dragon Knight. Like he's not even spending his money the right way. So, right. It's really got to be Shadow Evil on Shadow Fiend, shadowing his team to victory. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem is, he is will Dragon have to Knight, put the entire enemy fed team in his seven shadow. deaths um, right. to a four carry team. So that's the yeah. thing. Is like if you're playing against carries, you can't let them get farm. Mm -hmm. You can't feed them kills. I mean, the one. So the one bright side for him is Drow isn't building agility, so she's not actually helping Luna at all or Visage at all. <gasps> Luna does manage to solo Dragonite again. I, mm -hmm. I think he just thinks like, oh, this must be because I didn't get enough defensive items. I better finish that Vanguard quickly. Right. When right. He, that's completely the wrong way of thinking about it. Sometimes like Dota sends you signals, and it's like hard to tell what the correct signal is. Dota but in this case, it's. It. Stop building Vanguard. <laughs> right, you don't need Vanguard. You need wards and not to run out unprotected. So Desolator first on this Life Stealer. So I guess he's. It kind of makes sense actually on a four carry team, especially one with like Drow and Ricky and Luna. You're not really as Life Stealer like the primary damage dealer. So it's good enough for you if you actually like debuff people's armor and help your help your teammates fight them. Um, but yeah, so Drow. The, the one nice thing for Dr Dyer. Drow just got killed yep. by uh, three. Luna tried to do one three on one. Dyer tried to do team. one on three um, against. Uh, yeah. It's, it's it's that phase boot shadow fiend. It's the new meta. <laughs> phase boot Sanjinyasha. I just worry about that the tankiness with the phase boots versus the the treads and the the attack speed on the treads is really good too. It's better actually than having damage from the phase boots. Meanwhile, Ricky. So he's level twelve. And he, I think he just took stats. No, he has he has two levels of stats. Wow. Mm -hmm. He's Rather no no smoke, smoke screen, Ricky. Do you think he has like a like a moral objection to smoking? Do you think like, <laughs> he's do you think he's, he's uh, had emphysema in his family and he's just like no? It's it's Michael Bloomberg playing Ricky. In this game. <laughs> oh, All right, so we, he we have just rust the power about to get killed his, again. His nightmare. I'm worried um, about this bane. Good ult from from Shadow Evil. He hit yeah, behind the trees. Yeah, he got true. that ult off. And the visage does not manage to bring down that bane. And really, he, he just he just face boosts out. So he oh, wouldn't get body blocked by his team. Shadow or... Evil's gonna get another kill. Why are you running, Shadow yeah. Evil? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Well, uh oh, Fonseca is in here. This Luna. Oh, the clips the end of the. The, the Shadow Duke's Evil coming out from down. Shadow Evil. Or... Wow. Sh oh, there's that face boots. There's that face boots. Oh, he's yeah. So uh, Visage gives up on Shadow Evil. He's gonna try to go for Tide Hunter, but he doesn't have mana. He doesn't have even the mana to soul assumption. Yeah. He should have gotten the fuck out. He still has mana to boots of travel, dude. Boots of travel. Boots of travel. Boots of travel. <laughs> Boots of Travel, do it. Nope. So an interesting fact is, when Drow is dead, her R obviously does not apply anymore because she's dead, so the right. familiars become extremely Poopy. weak. Yeah, that's a good uh, point. Wait, no, 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 they still have her precision R. Well, she's alive. Is oh, yep. Thanks. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was confused there. So, Ricky, what do, what do you think he's going to make next? He's making Battle Fury. That's... that's... Could be worse. Could be worse. It could be. I mean, he's got the perseverance, so he has to make it into something. It might as well be Battle Fury. Well, and he it could have, have been the Dominator. So if he wants to stack Ancients and kill them, he he needs to use the. Well, Battle I mean, Fury perseverance. You can go different routes. I mean, he could go like yeah. Refresher, 
so that he can <laughs> blink strike faster. So he can blink strike twice. <laughs> so he uses five because seconds. Because they keep getting away from him, play. right? So, you know, he, right. he'll blink onto someone and they start running Dude, from him. Dude, check out this Rust Power Ken pull a ticker at top. Check out what's happening. Oh, wow. Dude, this, this, is, is this is the fight of the century right Rust here. Rust Power has no chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Visage going right in there with the boots of travel, so aggressive. No, no, he ain't got nothing. Oh, Life Stealer, open wounds, going in on Tonio. That will Tonio's do absolutely probably dead nothing. here. I mean, there's just He's, he loves no, these one target he, ultimates. Whoa, 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 did you see that? Yeah, he tried to he shadow, shadow amulet. amulet. Why does he have the shadow amulet? Why not? I guess. Why does Lich have shadow amulet? Lich there is making Shadow Blade. So That's if, the only possible conclusion. Okay, Visage. That was, that was a good play. He great rage killed, buyback. And then completely pointless rage buyback on that left stealer. Well, he's been jungling so long. <laughs> I haven't checked in on left stealer lately. So he did make the Midas. He's got phase boots. Uh, which is uh, not the end of the world. I mean, you, the speed is good. Mm. Oh, wow. Luna backdooring. Rust power is in this. Oh, Luna has Shadow Blade too. Okay. Rust power forces Luna <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. So we got Shadow Blade on Luna. We got Shadow Blade coming on, on Lich, I think, unless he just wants to go naked Shadow Amulet. So, all right, all right, starting to build up some Shadow. Oh, wow, Shadow Evil, meanwhile, decides to go for the Sanji and Yasha. This is not good on Shadow yeah. at all. It's, it's, I guess it, no. I don't know. Uh-uh, that's not good. I, I bet you his thinking is that he needs to make up the HP from going phase boots, so he goes Sanjanyasha. <laughs> That's actually not the worst logic. You're right, because the Sanjanyasha gives the Sanj gives strength, and he's got that main, which gives him even more effective speed. Because if he's chasing somebody, right, he can slow them down and fast. Oh, Fonset is going in on this. This is gonna be eclipse. This is gonna be eclipse. Oh no, never mind. He doesn't even need eclipse. Tony he doesn't need it. Out. That was actually. That was uh, pretty sneaky. A good decision on his part not to blow Eclipse. I think we've got the second Daedalus on this team coming. So now we got the Daedalus from uh, Luna. She's got her Chrysalis already. She's building towards that Daedalus. Now, mm -hmm. having two Daedaluses like this is completely counterproductive. Like, what you should have done was go Butterfly or something on the Drow and then go Daedalus on the Luna to give her, like, damage and crit. But, you know, they're just not playing as a team, which is fine. Meanwhile, Rust Power with his rank Rust Power one. has enough money right now to go and buy that. Uh, That's true. He should Vanguard. do it before he dies again because he's he shouldn't one in do 10. it. But Rust power, he's going no. to. Look at how slow he jungles just because he has the rank 1 breathe fire and he still has 80, right. 87 damage. He's got rank 2 now because he just leveled up, but I mean... It's 30 minutes into the game terrible. and Dragon Knight does 87 damage with his auto attack. Just for right. just for comparison, Shadow Fiend on the same team does 262 per auto attack. Drow is doing over Drow 300. Over 300. <laughs> and keep in mind, Dragon Knight had the cheek to try to one on one Drow with those statistics. Uh oh, Lifestealer, Lifestealer, bruh. I'm so scared for this Lifestealer. Lifestealer, by the way. Uh, he steals the those... Aegis! <laughs> Are we going to see our third Helm of the Dominator on, on one team from this Drow? Do you think they might be going the push? Like, are they all good? <gasps> they could she all might take range. No, she'll she'll probably be going satanic. I'm guessing. No, mask of madness. Mask of madness. Mask of freaking madness. Rust power got a kill by the way, on visage because visage was one on three or one on four, and he's gonna feed his familiars too. Ouch! Mm. That's a lot of money for rust power, and he finished that vanguard finally. Yeah, rust power. Well, so his the signal he's being sent now is finishing vanguard means. Uh, I, I guess he kills people now? Yeah, that no, thinking? definitely. So, I, you know, if they weren't going to do three Helms of the Dominator, there's actually a strat you can do with that where all three players uh, mind control... Oh, he's, he's going on every, Luna. Oh, no, Luna, Fawn said He's just going to right turn around and eclipse him to death. Or he doesn't even need to. He can just lifesteal. Uh-oh. Fawn the rest of his team. No, Fawn Saving his bacon. Yeah, that was dumb. Um, he should have, like, either shut up. Dragon Knight right now has 90 damage while ulted. So, wow. this is the thing, like... But keep Banger does AOE. nothing for him. It's 90 AoE damage. That's huge. Yes. Oh, because and Ken Politic are gonna. Wow, are you making like are... a fat joke about Luna? No, I would. Where notice. AOE damage is more to her? What? Because she's an area. Anyways, um, I love that Radiant are completely throwing this game. They they had four carries. They got an extremely early lead. Like they could have raxed. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know. Shadow Evil is the highest net worth person on the map now. What did he make? He's making butterfly. It looks like Eagle Song. I'm I'm looking at Life Stealer right now, who's about to get killed. He is. This Bane has been doing work, no doubt. Like he's been he's been really involved in some of these. Well, he actually only has six kills plus assists. But keep in mind, he was offline for half the game. 
Wow, Shadow Fiend, look at that damage. Look at that damage. It's so high that you're getting the... Uh, He's just chasing down Lifestealer, even though Lifestealer has phase boots. Because, uh-oh, Lifestealer, why just stop running, bro? Ages. Where is Lifestealer's curly mustache at? Once you pop, you should pour it out. Just pour it out. Pour two. Pour it out. Oh, the good. ult kills him. <laughs> well, not the ult, but <laughs> the combination of the ult and the the yes. bane uh, brain sap. Pure damage on that brain sap. Quite so good. So they could have they could have taken three range creeps. Like they could take this uh, dark troll warlord, or take a bunch of range creeps, or this, like set of hellcogs and stuff. And with Helm of the Dominator, turned on the drow aura, which I will remind you has not been up at any point since the first two minutes of the game. And just push, like they could push hard right. with it. They because get that's, that's the thing is, the, the aura applies to all units that are friendly. Yeah, like so siege units. If you Helm of the Dom ranged creeps, like right. from the jungle, right. then they become amazing. Yeah, and absolutely. You, uh oh. You, wow, like the Troll Warlord the goes from 51 to, to what? Like how much is Luna getting? Or sorry. How much is she? Uh, not a lot because Drow well, hasn't been. Well, 26% of Drow's 170. Right. right. Uh. I mean, it's it's good. It's like you're doubling the damage of your no, creep. No, no, it's great. It's amazing. Especially on those siege creeps. It's so good on siege mm -hmm. creeps. Um, and especially on those visage familiars, but he keeps Christ. feeding them away. They're just feeding a lot. Uh, this. Let's take a look at the gold graph. Nope, still above 15k, so still substantially ahead on the gold, which is good because <laughs> they have four carries. Have we checked on Ricky in a while? He finished his Battle Fury. So he's going to be farming up a storm now for other bad items. Uh, At no, no point will he get bad. smokescreen, the thing needed for him to have actual uptime on a target. I don't, I don't think he will get smokescreen. I think he's committed to this. I think you're right that it's Michael Bloomberg playing this Ricky Maru because he just he just refuses to smoke. Yeah. Now, I'm going to admit I know what happens next, and I just want to keep the focus on Ricky because this is amazing. He hits 16, and he levels stats. <laughs> like, I, I want to be invisible. But I don't want to like go invisible like in a good span of time. I want to go invisible really slowly. So Bane's been doing very well. Yeah. In terms of like trying his and warding, warding and stuff. Dude. Look at but all the problem these wards. Is his wards are not in good locations. No, these are bad wards. Um, <laughs> there like, is no reason to have this ward please, and this ward. And like, this like ward. his warding is a net benefit to the team, but they're right. not in good locations. So. Oh, big fight! Big fight! Fonseta jumping out of that shadow blade using that hella support eclipse to get some kills. Shadowy. That was. Oh, this Tide Hunter is going to turn this right around, and the Bane ult. They're getting all their kills on Shadow Evil, which is huge. Meanwhile, yeah. Lifestealer are trying to backdoor. Oh my god. Dragon Shadow Knight. Evil has Ethereal Blade. Shadow Evil. So this is an approach. This is a noob team. Noob team, <laughs> says Fonseta. <laughs> Fonseta, who just got finished Shadow Blade. like four times in a row. The guy is going is one on four. <laughs> raging about how bad his team is. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, he's not building. Indeed. He's building better than most of his team, such as Ricky, Ricky and yeah. Lifestealer. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what do you think? This, this, this is, is this is the 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 classic stone. doting part of Dota, right? Where mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this oh, is so probably gonna, gonna die. Right feed. He's just gonna feed the hell out of him. Well, brutal no. feeds. This, look at that huge ethereal blade. So usually yeah. on Shadow Feed, you do want the Agi, because he's an Agi carry, but this guy's like, fuck Agi. Fuck magic. I'm just going to go ethereal blade and then use my raises on top of the ethereal blade to do tons right. of magic damage. Meanwhile, they, they're trying to chase Ricky, but they're going the completely the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You're not going to kill man mode, battle fury, no smoke cloud Ricky. Keep in mind, yeah. because Shadow Fiend is going the like not high attack damage, like really high uh, spell damage approach, Ricky's smoke cloud will be extremely good on him, especially to slow him down, considering right. how passively well, fast he, he is. He just bought a demon edge, so I don't know. Ricky meanwhile but, going Yasha, so I think he might go into Manta. But this is like the the classic Dota Dota game where your team is is screwing up and they're making mistakes and they're mm. sucking, mm. which is which is not fun. But you're su Lich like is you know Luna's screwing up too pretty badly. Oh nope, Lich is not gonna die because he finished that Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade Lich. So Luna Luna complaining is like, yeah, your team sucks, but it's not like you're playing perfectly. Right. You, you or even like suck. not helping your team lose. <laughs> right. That's exactly. a double negative, but you know. <sighs> do you think do you, do you think Dire do you think have Shadow is an an unstoppable advantage in this game? Dire? Yeah. So they're still down ten K gold, but they're ahead on experience at Shadow what, what can they do is... about Shadow Evil? I mean Rust Actually, Power is gonna die to this kind of funny in that in that when he ethereal blades, you're then ghost you know, ghost sceptered yourself. Right. 
and they're all carries, mm -hmm. so... Right. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Like, you've... That's, that's, not a, that's, a that's an interesting a choice. point, because, yeah, then Drow can't attack him, Ricky can't attack him, Luna can't mm -hmm. attack him, and the Visage familiars... Well, actually, yeah, he's invulnerable to basically everything they can do to him. That's a really good point. Because like, Visages... Eclipse um, would hurt him a lot, but, you know, Eclipse. as long as you don't yeah, that's it. get hit by that... Yeah, as long as you don't get hit by I that... Say? That's Visage. it. Because Visage oh. can't actually deal damage yeah. to you, because, um, like, he needs to... His soul assumption only does damage to the person is taking it. damage. No, 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 but it's it'll still do the minimum amount of damage, unless he's already taking Eclipse. Yeah. So they check Rush, still two and a half minutes. I don't know. I don't know what their plan is. I I think their ridiculously greedy and silly item builds may doom them in the end. Luna is going BKB, so that's good against that Shadow Fiend. Oh, yeah. Alucard, the the man mode Ricky, way the hell out there. Kids killed by the Ethereal Blade. Think about Ethereal his, Blade too. His name spelled backwards is uh, Dracula. So yes, there's that. Yeah, certainly is true. Good, good job by Luna getting another uh, tower down there. But they really need these racks. They can't live without these yeah. racks. The thing yeah. about Shadowfiend is if he had just built more agi, like his ethereal uh, blade would be more effective. Oh wow. Oh Fonseta, no, you don't have BKB yet, buddy. Meanwhile, Visage did and a decent job. I don't know. Has a refresher. To check out this ride of the Valkyries and dump in bot. Dun da 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 Nice, he got both Raxes! This Visage That's is doing work. That's a player from Visage right that there. He's doing work. Like, he's he's doing the work that his team should have been doing. Yeah, exactly. Specifically Luna. <laughs> oh no, the familiar stuff. Shadow Fiend is pretty scary right now. Yeah, Shadow, Shadow Fiend at this point has... Has, uh... 20, tried to say the fun ends here, but... Uh, who knows? <laughs> I um, am finished farming. He's actually not because Dragon Knight. The Dragon Knight actually has an Ogre Club in the stash nice. and a and one Tango and one Clarity oh, on he his still person. Has a Tango and a Clarity, but that's good, right? I mean, you need mana. He's he does have mana intensive spells. Oh, can pull a ticker <laughs> is done. This this Ethereal Blade is actually amazing. I just wish that's a great choice, honestly. Like, it actually is, but he he should have gone Agi with it. Like going the he shouldn't have gone Sanjinyasha. He should have like Ethereal Blade and other Agi stuff. But right. other than that, like, it's really the, good. The Daedalus? No, I mean... It has really yeah, poor synergy with Daedalus. You need a butterfly, get a Daedalus. butterfly instead of the Daedalus, and yeah. then it's a great choice. Yeah, like, it's actually it's, a, it's a good build. choice for this game, but it has no synergy. Like, none of his items have any synergy with each other, basically. Right, right. I mean, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing, definitely. But it could be better. Could be. So he's just going to farm some Ancients. So how many Helms of the Dom do we, did we end up having in this game? Three? Uh, let's, let's pop this guy open. So we, I four. count one, two... Four. Three, four. So, Ricky. And then there's Luna. a Mask of Madness on Drow. Now, for extra credit, Vanek, how many of those Helms of the Dominator have at any point been used to mind control any creeps, which is the primary function of the item? Is it closest without going over? <laughs> the answer is just zero. So. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And so how many Shadow Blades did we end up with? All right. Tide Under, unfortunately, is going to get killed here. Um, we just have two Shadow Blades. So just oh, the, wow. The what a... Uh, Oh no! Luna took down Tidal. Did he actually use, he used his Ravage too, right? He used his That's Ravage. That's pretty big. Unfortunately, well, no, he's got a he's got a refresher, which is he up in thirty have seconds. Tier one bot up. Whoa! Look at this Visage versus Shadow Fiend battle. This isn't going so well for him. Dude, Shadow Fiend's gonna die! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! So close. Maybe those creeps. Maybe the familiars. The familiars can do if some. Shadow Fiend doesn't oh, nope. get the hell out. The familiars are gonna kick his ass. Oh nope, nope. That. Wow. He does a lot of damage and has a helm, so. He has yeah. that life steal. That ethereal blade saved him again there, by the way, because Visage would have easily won if he won him. But... Right. So Visage has hood, and it looks like he's making cuirass, which is very nice of him actually. He's like the one guy actually like. Drow. The team I don't know was. why Drow tried to silence the ground. It wouldn't have really helped. Drow even hasn't if... had a hasn't had a new item in like. I think he thinks silence would have broken the. the Shadow, Shadow Evil blade. is asking about backdoors, which is what Ricky's trying to do. Check out Rust Power trying to solo Rush. Watch that. <laughs> So this Rust is, Power has, has most of a half of a BKB in his stash, <laughs> but they're not guess, on himself because right. he's got the because Tango and the Clarity. Got, he's still like, the Tango and the Clarity, yeah. As a heads up, once you get past like ten minutes, Tangos are useless. Yeah, and, well, he named the this is actually Tango and Cash. He named the Clarity Cash. Um, so once he builds this BKB, he still won't have any damage, and the the team that he's going up against deals almost no magic damage. <laughs> FCK, wow, yo. what what a uh, <laughs> desperate. What an ethereal blade. <laughs>
So we actually may see Mega Creeps, and that's what's going to save the, so uh, the Radiant. The Radiant may be bailed out by the fact that they can backdoor, but look at Fonsetta not actually going for Raxes. Look at him just randomly. Yeah, that he was an incredibly this, poor though. choice They have no on detection. his part. He's going to make it out, I think, because Rust yeah. Power is just still slow as hell. Meanwhile, I wonder uh, if Rust Ricky Power Maru, is Russian. He's got Sanjanyasha, too, so two Sanjanyashas in this game. Usually you want zero Sanjanyashas in a game. <laughs> I I love Ricky so, never did. Well, Sanjay get Yasha this is the solution to right. people running away from you when you have That's true. the smoke screen. That's true. That because it, it speeds you up. You so you need the Asha. Speeds them up and slows them down. Right. But you know, so, I mean, Dragonite. You could, you could get Manta, which would be better. But why do that? You could get your third rank of Invis, but why do that? And you could get smoke screen, but I mean, obviously he has a he has an objection to that in general. So Rust Power gets taken down yet again. Oh no, Lich to save the day. Uh -oh, if Lich stayed in, he could kill Luna. Yep. They could have killed Luna, but they didn't. It's too late now. Lich is going to get away with this amazing Shadow Blade. If though. He, he may, uh -oh, uh -oh. Shadow Evil on the case. He has a gem, so this is going to be real trouble for that Ricky and that Luna. That's probably a smart pickup. They probably should have done that like five years ago. Shadowfin is 19 and 5. This is, he's, he's big. This is scary. He's beast mode, but he's the problem is like mode. his team is not helping really stop the pushing his from, team uh, is like is, is also beast mode but it's like you know like wild beasts like rodents <laughs> rude beast mode <laughs> fucked up rude beast mode so lich uh is does have higher value than life stealer but all the other radiant it's it's shadow fiend for radiant shadow fiend players, by a wide Antonio, margin yeah and then everyone fiend. else so uh, still ten, a little less than like seven, eight thousand gold advantage for the radiant, but a ten thousand XP disadvantage for the radiant. And Shadowfiend manages to get a pick off because he's got that gem now. I, this Ricky is just going to melt in every single engagement. Like he has nothing to keep him. Meanwhile, I don't think Life Stealer Stealer understands that uh, he can't life steal <laughs> off of uh, Roshan. He's the, he's the he's the radiant's dragon knight basically. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Lich What's just ulted, I guess, to BKB? farm some creeps. Or you think he's making the the third Sanjin Yasha in this game, Life Stealer? Oh, Shadow Evil, Shadow Evil. Shadow Evil. Wherever he goes, people die. I I don't know what they can do to actually kill Shadow Evil because he's just he beats the heck out of everything. Wow, they're gonna go in on him. It looks like this visage is wow. This is really bold. Bro, yeah, this is really bold. He's gonna lose that familiar too. The familiar is like every time they die, they give like 120 gold to the other teams. So, like that's just he's six thousand. He has almost enough for a rapier. I wonder if he'll. Life make a rapier. is trying to backdoor the lane, which already has no. <laughs> <laughs> Raxes. Why would you do that? Oh, he's going down. Rust power and mostly shadow evil. Let's be fair. He tried to uh, Q and port, which is not a terrible idea, but it is a terrible idea. Tango and Cash are Be gone, there. by the way. And the, he did end up either selling them or using them. Rust Power has his partial BKB. It's too bad. Yeah, it is. R.I.P. Yeah, rip. So, uh, Bane only has two deaths. Pretty good. Yeah. I think oh. I think they're going to pick up this Aegis. Shadow Fiend actually just puts the Gem of Sight on the ground. They're just going to, I think, leave that on the ground. He's just he's murdering that Rush. They've got two different mechs on, on the Dire. Picks up the Aegis. I wonder if they're going to even bother picking up the cheese. Do they have two mechs? Yeah. On Lich and on uh, Bane? Mm-hmm. Nice. Two mechs, always good. That's Lich how is we making, roll. Uh, Aghanims. It looks like he's going to finish it soon. Who'd they end up putting the cheese on? So uh, Dragonite took the gem. The, uh, Tidehunter has the cheese. And he has, uh, he's done with Refresher. But he's done with Refresher making? for a while. Do you know what Tidehunter's making? What? Oh, he's making a, uh... Shadow... Sorry, uh... Battle Fury. Battle Fury, yep. He needs to farm. Battle Fury! Awesome. Carry Tide. Carry Tide. Because they don't have enough carries. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't have two. They only have one carry. Wow, that Shadow Blade Lich is now escaping from Eclipse. <laughs> oh, man. That was a complete waste of Eclipse. That thing has a long cooldown. You shouldn't just use it to kill a Lich, like, with a with your Dro there. Has yeah. Dro built a single item in the last, like, year? Okay, finally he's making the Battle Fury. The Butterfly. Finally. So we should have made like 20 years ago. It's going to be good against Shadow Fiend. It's going to be good to buff Luna and Visage. It's, mm -hmm. He should have done that a long time ago. And it looks like Ricky is starting on his butterfly as well. So these butterflies will be pretty important for them. Um, just to sort yeah. of reduce the amount of damage they take from that Shadow Fiend. Well, he has a quarter staff. He's not really building towards <laughs> anything yet. <laughs> That's true. Another option would be Orchid. <laughs> so the other weird thing is like he went backstab very early but he has mm -hmm. very little in the way of actual agility yeah like he, oh right because backstab is an agility damage multiplier but he's built yeah. no agility items basically mm -hmm. so again we have people who have 
all this stuff that scales off of agility, like Drow and Ricky, and they just don't right. take advantage of it at all. Yeah, like straight damage is cheaper than Shadow agility, a heart. but you know you, you have to get what synergizes. And it's... So Shadowfin currently has two lives. He's got he made a bo- his boots of travel. He's got Sanjinyasha, Ethereal Blade, Daedalus, which is the Ethereal Blade, Daedalus cracks me up. Um, and he's making the heart. He's almost done with it. He's just leaving buyback money up. How can Radiant possibly high ground and, and get those Raxes down? They have to. I mean, they have to. Just by just by beast moding it, because yeah. Lifestealer, for example, his lifestealer is has backdooring. to pop his rage to do this and his armlet. He can't just be randomly mailing. Well, it's it's the problem is no one's here. So they so can ride of the Valkyries. I, I think ride of the Valkyries is their best option. Like, yeah. lure Dire to a different part of the map and then ride of the Valkyries is their way to do it. So they pop a lot of ults just to get that visage. That's just, they pop every single ult. <laughs> they used all of them. <laughs> every every single ultimate on their team was used to kill that visit. Right. Now luckily it doesn't matter because Shadow Evil can just sort of solo everybody, but unfortunately the the familiars die, which is really bad for that Ride of the Valkyries plan. Yeah. Lifestealer could uh rage and no he can't because he has no teleport. Now if he used his rage, he could uh use his uh I mean he uses rage. Wow, he what a what a pro Oh nice uh yeah, infest. Oh, they might get Shadow Evil. Nope. Not even No, close. Shadow Evil is too buff. Yeah. He, what he should do is just, um... Oh, all their lids are pushed in, so he actually can't boots of travel and push, but... Right. Ricky, you know, working his way towards that butterfly. It's only going to take another half hour or so for him to hit it. And they've got this racks pretty low, but it's healing. This ranged barracks up down here, this melee barracks. What they really want is this melee. I think they should try to use the visage familiars to, to backdoor. Like, they should lure Dire right. out, and then visage should use his boots of travel and his familiars to, to just backdoor. Because he could easily get mega creeps in the time that it would take for people to come back. Yeah, or he could at least get them down the to just the one racks. Yeah. He's got to ride out of the Valkyries, out, absolutely. I think that's their one path to get him back in this game. And the fact that, like, Rust Power. Rust Power right now should be pushing top and killing that tier one, which Guess is. Guess what item Rust Power made? Helm uh, of the Dominator. <laughs> uh, we actually, is not we, actually a bad pick. On it's good Dragonite. on Dragonite, but he's not going to use it for the actual purpose of uh, of dominating a creep. What I do like, by the way, is um, Shadow Fiend. We we've lost to Helm of the Dominator because Shadow Fiend turned it into Satanic. Right, which is so uh, the, not a bad idea either. Oh, it's but... great for him. Great. He should stop Ethereal Blading and just use Life Steel. So I don't know. They got. I don't know how they're going to stop. He should like stop sell his idea. Ethereal Blade and make something else. Probably. At this point. Ricky, <laughs> beast mode. <laughs> beast mode. This is going to be a terrible eclipse. It's all going to go on the creeps. Dragon right. Knight pops his BKB. Completely useless eclipse there. Lifestealer does his best, which is not very good at all. Meanwhile, Dragon Visage is back doing. Visage is back doing. He's doing what I wanted him to do. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quad kill for Shadow Evil. He yeah. still has the ages. The ultra kill. Oh, no. At- Visage is affected Visage, by the... Visage is killing Bane, but... No, the Bane ult and the Tidehunter. There's, there's the a good Lich. ult from oh, Lich. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does Visage have buyback? No, he doesn't. He's dead. Oh, that was such a good idea by Visage there. Yeah. Shadow this Evil is... it should get these Raxes. I don't know they if they're going to try to throw. buybacks? The only person on the map with buyback is Shadow Fiend, so he can throne. He can win right now by throwing. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. Oh, this is there a gem on I think the he's going to go for it. I don't know. I think I don't know why there's a gem on the ground. I have no idea what the purpose of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really confused. I, I had a new had team. No. A noob team. <laughs> Luna, you were one of the noobs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lala chat and played Luna complaining. <laughs> decent point, decent point. Yeah, they can't stop. I think Shadow Evil's going to take this one. Shadow. Oh, whoa, Visit Familiar is coming in. Good stun. Yeah, that, that was not good. Not the ideal but... stun chain, but not bad either. So the problem is like the person that's coming up next is Ricky, and Ricky is not going to get yeah, anything done. Yeah, and these familiars can't live against this. Oh no, oh no. I think this might be the last moments for Radiant. Mm. Maybe it. 28 and 5 Shadow Fee and just getting two bosses. That's 700 gold per minute. 706, actually. Why is so he attacking the huts? He's going after the building. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> oh, Lich with the brilliant boots of travel in there. Now he's going for the ancient. Now he's going for the kill. But now there's four people up. He dithered way too long on those huts. Yeah. He could have killed that throne in the time oh, that. Fonseta, uh... Fonseta? Is under hey, what, what, what is going on in this stupid game? Yeah. Where's Ricky? Why is Ricky in Fountain? They can oh, kill wow. this Shadow Fiend. So Shadow, Shadow Evil, Ethereal Blades, Visage, and then Alt. Oh my god, if that Ricky hadn't been AFK, they could live through this. But he's AFKing out of the game. He shouldn't yeah. have AFKed. Yeah. Oh, that's always disappointing when you have such a such a highly 
quality game. And then it gets guy's dropping by one G's, guy. getting salty he with is, it. Wow, he is dropping G's. Let's report him. Yeah. Let's report this lich for G. -drop. Well, he's already in low priority queue. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think we might have a clue as to why. No, I'm gonna <laughs> report him anyway. G dropping. Yay, shit, Tonio. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty cool game. Yeah. It was I interesting. Feel like Radiance. We've got 743 gold per minute Shadow Fiend. <laughs> Yep. Um, that's the huts. That's really the huts at the end there. Drow, Drow like went way ahead, mm -hmm. but she she needed to get that that uh, butterfly. Butterfly. How many one on one Daedalus. engagements would he have won against that shadow fiend if he just said butterfly? I, it's hard to say. Like if if you had, the way the game is gonna shake out is like if, if any of these people had built correctly, the game would have been over because they would have won every fight. That's and true. snowballed, and that would have been it. It's just because everyone built really badly. It, it was a huge factor was that they built badly, and a huge factor was that they would only one person would go to actually kill the Raxes. Like if right. they had gone as five when before Shadow Evil was like twenty five and five. Like if they just gone as five to push the Raxes and ignored the opposing players yeah. and just yeah. like I don't know, brutal. But I do love the I did like the Helm of the Dom, the four Helms of the Dom eventually turning into well, right? Yeah, it ended up as. Only three because uh, Shadow because, Evil turned us into a yeah. into a satanic. I like the Dragon Knight, the fully defensive Dragon Knight. Finally picked up a Yasha at the end, so I think he was going Sanj and Yasha, which mm -hmm. would be the third Sanj. A Yasha? terrible choice. The third, yeah, the third, the, the, the Yasha. third Sanj and Yasha of the game. I like the the Battle Fury on not maybe the heroes you would expect <laughs> on Tide Hunter <laughs> and on Ricky Maru. All, all Radiant good. goes like all boots of travel. Well, not all, but. There's a lot of boots of travel in this game. There Far is. More than I usually well, it's see. a really long in a really long game. I think boots of travel are very strong. And Visage did use the boots of travel later on to 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 yeah. to, to book base race. Um, oh, and also of course we we have to mention the Ricky again because this was truly inspired inspired yeah. Ricky Maru. the yeah. Michael Michael Bloomberg style, not going <laughs> invisible too quickly, Battle Fury first Ricky. I right. I am in love. It bit. was it was quite the the plan on his part um, <laughs> definitely he had the fewest deaths second he fewest did. deaths in the game he did bane because... only died twice he was offline yeah. for five minutes but still yeah I, I mean bane actually tried pretty well mm -hmm. you know he, he has a good build he was buying wards he's warding you know yeah, so props, props to bane props to bane give it up for bane yeah all right so I, I think that's a, that's good to stop on for today. We might do if I see another one of these games that are as good as this one. I think we'll definitely <laughs> have to have to do an encore presentation. But uh, yeah, Vanek, do you have anything to say? You want to give props for your for your Twitter or something? Get people to follow you? No, don't follow me on Twitter. It's okay, terrible. Don't, don't follow Vanek on Twitter. Just don't Thank do you. it. Just don't, please. <laughs> All right, so All right. We're gonna take a break. See you, Vanek. See you, everybody. See you.